beautiful people of the interwebs glyn here cheapskate gaming new tech reviews and today on wonderful world of games we are going to look at the game called almost or the almost gone um essentially it's a bit of a puzzle game this so i haven't done a puzzle game yet now i was going to show a different puzzle game but when i went to check on gamevo and eba it sold out yeah damn it and it's a really good game but this is pretty good as well i've actually finished this so let me go and check how much can we pick this game up for um let me find the right thing there we go so we're over here on gamevo and uh, i like the way they're doing they've changed gamevo around uh, quite a lot now so one pound four pence and that's standard straight rate that's what you'll pay no added fees that's what they're doing now look no hidden fees it says here um, and 68 pence if you've got the membership now um, they're doing it all the way through here so look you can have a look now what i would a bit of an advice here for gamevo if it's got a shield you can see what i just above my head here these ones have got little shields that's like the smart guarantee so they're the sort of better vendors um but they sort of like partnered vendors then that gamevo work with um, and every time i've had a i've ever bought a game from a smart vendor i've never had a problem um and any problems i have had were solved anyway so i i i have never had a problem with gamevo people wondering are they kosher or not they're fine um in fact a lot of these sites now are actually starting to advertise on youtube um so over here let's go over to aniba and on neba we've got well, it says 379 but actually it's got 91 pence here but i'm not sure what the the shipping fee is going to be um let's have a look let's have a little look at what it says on here hopefully it doesn't hold too much information um 91 pence uh, i don't think it's going to be i think if i went to let me just try it i click my paypal yeah so it's coming out of one pound 37 so there's a 46 pence um service fee okay right so that is a hell of a difference um delete that off there okay so uh just thought i'd just check that out so just again the neighbors getting a bit pricey with their their sh their fees you know 40 odd 50 odd pence per game um and just uh, the equivalent 68 one pound four what's that 36 pence so they're charging 36 pence roughly on um gamevo and the neighbor are charging a little bit more um that's probably because they started to advertise a lot on youtube so someone's got to pay for those fees somewhere anyway i've i've always bought more from gamevo i have bought quite a few from aniba but gamevo is the better deal especially if you go for this four pound pay for a month and download it like 50 games and you've made your money back straight away anywho let's get on with the game right so here we are on the main screen um very simple clean looking graphics um there's not much going on here settings wise you got sound music rotational type um text size and then you've got a good selection of languages actually english dutch french german spanish looks like japanese malaysian chinese could be wrong don't quote me on that Anyway, let's go with a new story. Um, I'm going to start with empty one here. So a little warning here at the start. Uh, mature sensitive topic. So um, just be aware, but I, it's not you're not going to see anything too graphic while playing this. So here we are so essentially the little puzzle rooms this is going to be obviously be a bit of a starter looks like it's really old box like a tiny treasure chest the handle is missing so what we're going to need to do is find the handle now a lot of the times what you're going to be doing is like this clicking on the drawer there's the handle click the handle lovely so we now got the handle 
Now we can put the handle, so press right trigger, grab your handle, put it on the box. Come to the treehouse, you'll be safe there. Okay, right there, so we've got a bit more of a clue. Now you can see on here, we can come out of this room. And essentially that's what this game is, so I'm not going to spend quite as long as normal showing this off. I don't want to spoil anything. Of course we've got a map here, a map of the layout. And this is just obviously the tutorial. But we can have a little look. And if we can have a look, there's a, there's a globe here. So typical of a father, I say one thing about the stars and the hour fills my room with zodiac stuff. Okay. Spin it around. I can move all these dots and stuff, so that's going to be part of a puzzle. But let's go to a different room. Actually, that's the room we just come from. You can get a little bit lost when you uh, change directions all the time. A draft of this house, my father would draw it. So there's all different like little pieces of story that you will uncover as you play through it. Now, it's a nice chillax game, isn't it? Um, and I, like I say, I have actually finished this, and it does get quite tricky. Um, if, you, if you really wanted it to do it, you could use a guide. I didn't use a guide. Um, but, uh, you know, most completionists out there, they could just grab a guide. But I quite enjoy a, a little puzzle game, something a little bit cerebral. So essentially, that's it. This is going to be a really short one, because I don't want to show too much of it. But essentially, this is how the game works. Eventually, we'll solve. You'll open this globe up. That'll lead you to another part of the problem. Um, and sometimes you get little hidden clues within the mirrors as well. That's quite good. It's almost as if it's got um, ray tracing, isn't it? The way that's reflected. Quite clever. Okay, so nice quick one today. So this is almost gone. Um, and that's available for around about the £1 mark from an Eber on McGibby Evo. So this has been Glenn Cheapskies Gaming News, Tech Reviews, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye now.